So, first let me just say that when I ordered this scooter, the Kaboo Skywalker is not what I wanted. I wanted a Kaboo Mantis, but unfortunately at the time, there weren't any in stock anywhere. And if I had ordered one back in July, I would have probably just been getting it now at the end of October. So my friend showed me this outfit out in, I think they're in Arizona, called Creo Motors, that was selling a different Kaboo series called the Skywalkers. And so I ended up ordering the Skywalker 10S Plus. But when I first got it, my nose was still a little out of joint because it's not what I wanted. I wanted the Manus. And at the same time, there was this guy um, that was had a channel on YouTube. I think it's called RK9 Rides. And he was doing all these videos where he was taking his Kaboo Mantis and you know, driving around uh, different trails and stuff at places like 40 plus miles an hour and sometimes through towns. It was really crazy to watch him. Um, he even did this one video where he was cranking at night and he had a pretty good crash. It was really excellent. But a couple of weeks back, um, he did a video where he had hit 500 miles on his Kaboo Manus and about all the problems he was having with it. And it was heartbreaking. I couldn't believe it, right? So, but on the bright side, I got this scooter the first week in August, and it is now going into the last week of October. So, just shy of three months, I've managed to put 415 miles on it. Now, when you consider I live in New Jersey, so it's illegal to drive them over 20 miles an hour on the street. And most of the time, I'm down at the park down the street doing maybe 10, 15 miles an hour at, at best. Um, to get 415 miles on it in that time, I, I've ridden this thing a lot. I have. And I've kind of fallen in love with it. I really do like this thing. And I just wanted to point out, you know, some different things on it. And the one or two little issues I've had um, haven't been much at all. So let me show you. So, so far with this one here, let me show you the issue. You see that lug nut? See how it's bare? Well, there used to be a little rubber grommet that covered it, and it popped off. Okay, that's basically my list of problems I've had with this thing. Um, other than that, I mean, the deck on this thing, totally solid. It's had no problems. and It's got no mat that's coming off or anything. It doesn't have one. It's just got this gripper stuff that works excellent. It's pretty solid. The mount where the stem comes down... Where the stem comes down and mounts on here, there's no movement in there at all. It's very sturdy. There's uh, three bolts on each side. It's really, really strong so far. So good. Um, the stem itself, the only movement on it at all is right here at like the hinge mechanism for the steering at this pin. And it's very, very little. And it hasn't changed since the day I got it. It's pretty good. Um, the brakes, I haven't had to adjust them since I took it out of the box, and this thing stops on a dime. Okay, The speed controller throttle mechanism is nice and bright, and I can read it. You can see the 415 miles on there. Hopefully you can see it. Um, my eyes have no trouble seeing this um, while I'm riding, So, and it's got plenty of different settings on it. This charging port on the back here is the cat's meow. I don't think I could get another scooter that didn't have that. You can put this thing into a mode so that it won't power off automatically. and It'll keep charging your thing. So I can park this in my buddy's backyard when we're partying at night and charge my phone and speakers all night. It's freaking excellent. And the battery's big enough, it don't even put a dent in it. Um, the handlebars on this are great. I love them. I mean, they're not loose at all, okay? And these grips, I like these kind of grips that have the extra palm surface area so that it makes it more comfortable for me to ride with two fingers up here. And it doesn't feel like my hand's going to slip off. Same thing with, like, the throttle over here. Um, this kind of grip makes it easier for me to go from the throttle to here without feeling like my hand's going to slip off and operate the other controls. I don't know, some people don't like them, but I do. The only problem is it doesn't have a clamp here, so these move on you, and that, that kind of sucks. So if I do get another set, that's it'll be like these, but with a clamp on there. The horn is obnoxious on this thing, and that, that's a good thing, because it really does clear people out of your way. Oof. Yeah. So 
the lights are, you know, you know, the headlamp isn't anything spectacular, but it works as it was intended. I need to put a better one on here if I'm going to drive at night, but uh, brake lights work. The suspension system on this, you know, I know I said that it was really stiff in another video, but since I've um, gotten comfortable enough to run this, open this up a couple times, like I've had it at like 40 miles an hour now. Uh, the suspension actually works much better at high speeds, better than it does at slow speeds. It actually smooths and glides over stuff pretty good. So I was really impressed with that. Uh, so I had no problems with the battery or the motor. Uh, the kickstand, uh, that seems to be the number one problem people always have with their scooters. Mine has been tight. It doesn't, doesn't come loose. I check it periodically, and it's very, very sturdy. So, you know, no issue there. So, I mean... All I can say is maybe I got lucky that I wasn't able to get the uh, Mantis and I ended up getting the Skywalker uh, because, and it still has a wow factor. I mean, these lights on the side are excellent and it never fails to get me a comment when I'm riding down at the park. Um, and it's just, it's fun to ride. It is. I don't think it's a bad scooter at all. That's all.